if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle uh, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel five exciting facts October 2021 part one so let's jump um, straight in with it and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel hi my name is Rebecca and um, I love talking about travel and lifestyle. It's the red and white subscription button. Also click the notification bell so you never miss a video. And um, the information where I'm getting um, my informa the information from today is tourradar.com slash i slash budget so i'm going to jump right in with book a flight in advance um, especially if you can oftentimes paying a little more um in the uh, at the offset um for a more flexible ticket will save you money um in the future and um, in the aftermath, um, if you decided you want to stay a little a longer at a place, um, should you need to push back your return ticket or, say, change your return ticket further, airline, um, airlines release uh, flight tickets up to a year in advance. Um, and the closer you book to your departure date, obviously, the less availability and also prices um, increase especially in the last months um, so uh, I mean you can get cheaper tickets obviously if you restrict your times of or go on sociable hours but if you have a cheap fixed ticket you may not be able to change it or you may be able to change it but it'll cost you more money in the long run um so um again when i worked at national express um the people um that had on the internet um or fixed the t it, tickets um if they want to change the ticket then they may have to pay for another ticket or pay the pound fifty administration for it fee and um, the extra especially if um, they're travelling on a Friday or Saturday which again is a peak period so on top of the one pound fifty, and um, again, if you're still travelling with Nash Express um, at off peak times, then again they would just charge you the one pound fifty. But um, if you do have an open return ticket, then um, it really depends whether you travel on a Friday or Saturday. But um, all you would have to do if you uh, still kept off peak times um, on your return just pay the £1.50 um, or very last minute see if the driver has room to take you but, um, but when um, and if you have an economy open return ticket and you needed a standard ticket peak ticket on re at return you would have to pay if you've only paid for the economy the £1.50 administration fee and um, also the uh, the amount to check uh, for a standard ticket so um, it it pays you to uh, really set it think in advance at what you're going to be doing on your um, holiday um, or um, what you're doing as regards to travel. Um, 
before you go so number two um again travel in off peak season if you can tour operators um will uh, charge you less or at reduced rates and um, number three um it's a good idea to save before you start um setting up a, a separate um account especially for um your dream travel holiday um again just so you know how much you have got um to spend um on your holiday and then that just reduces the, uh, the stress um number four download the right apps um obviously to save you money and um, number five uh, also take public tra travel or walk if you can walk or so uh, cycle if you can it uh, cycle to reduce car usage um, also, um, again, it saves you money and it's also better for the environment. Um, so, I would like to say thank you for watching. And um, today's um, a lovely day. Um, it's uh, sun shining, so I hope that keeps up for the afternoon. And I, ha I wish everybody as a good day as possible and I'll see you uh, tomorrow for at uh, five um uk travel um tri uh, trips um or facts um in the uk um so please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye